Martin. I write horoscopes for Vogue. It's what long distance is like, guys. I was like, oh my god. Hello. So yes, excited for just something new. <gasps> Best day ever. Good morning, good morning. It's a lovely Sunday. I'm having a bit of a romantic one by myself. I've been listening to really chill music from my playlists. And today's not just any Sunday, guys. It is the Lionsgate Portal, which happens on the 8th of the 8th. I literally so vividly remember the last one I set really good intentions. It's a new moon as well, which is always the best time to set your manifestations or your intentions for the future. But I'm starting it. Uh, really well, I've got a nice little breakfast kind of on the go here and taking the whole day out for myself. I don't know, I feel very pagan about it this morning. Like, if somebody was to set up a bonfire, I would be jumping around naked. Like, that is the kind of vibes that I would say I'm going for today. Well, however, spare everyone that. I will just be taking a slow morning. I remember specifically last year focusing on how I want to feel emotionally. That time and really actually writing down exactly how I want to feel in the coming months or the coming year. And um, I would say that a lot of it <laughs> has come true. And I'm gonna have this nice breakfast, take myself to the park, get a coffee. I feel like with really big energetic events like this, it just gives whatever you're trying to focus on that extra boost, kind of like that video game. But anyway, I am having toasted whole wheat organic sourdough with poachy and baked beans which I haven't had in so long this is such a like I feel like a home comfort but my local store Hannah Health Foods in Bushwick does like a bunch of imported foods these are actually like English beans if you live in America you know that a lot of those crossover products just aren't the same and um, the English and Irish ones have so much like less shite in, in them in terms of ingredients I have those and I've also put a little bit of this gorge uh, barbecue sauce in the beans. I know you can buy barbecue beans, but I don't know, I think they're kind of gross, but this way I can just put a little bit in there for an extra bit of savoriness. I've got chives. Oh my God, weak. I hope the yolk cracks though, because I was so busy chit-chatting to you guys that uh, I might have left them in there too long. <gasps> Oi, still a nice bit of runniness in there. <gasps> best day ever. This is how you romanticize your life making for yourself what you hope your future partner would just rock in half naked presenting you with. day super early in the city which is unusual for me and also why I'm carrying around my entire life for a morning workout class my first class pass boxing class back I went to overthrow I don't know if you can see but this is what I'm wearing and honestly my skirt is blowing up every two seconds with these subway grates I want to be a girl in New York City aircon water dripping on you also bringing some stuff in to try and get consigned at the real real I've been trying to get rid of a jack and moose and a Prada bag for a while so we're gonna do that first I am gonna meet my well somebody I've never met before but that I'm super friendly with on I think I'm down here super friendly on social media with stock Alice um, I, I probably won't pull out the vlog camera because it's my first time meeting her but she's an astrologer she specializes in predictive astrology but I'm just meeting her as a friend because I just think that we'll click and then I meant to be meeting Erica and Kaylin Fox for lunch so it's just a big old Manhattan day I'm gonna drop in some film as well I'm rarely ever in so I'm definitely gonna make the most of it in noisy New York this is Alice hi um, oh my god look at your outfit I'm obsessed I feel like Alice has very London style yeah I like the 60s I know and I feel like you embody it so well yeah. Like you're such, you've got such quirky good style. Oh um, but Alice, what do you do? I'm an astrologer. Um, uh, I was telling you guys earlier, Alice kind of specializes in like predictive stuff. So she does really good stuff on Instagram. Like 
really good current energy stuff. It always makes me feel better. Yeah. But like you work for like, British Vogue and everything. Yeah, She's I mean, legit, guys. I write horoscopes for Vogue. I do reading. Oh, oh God, lovely New York. Yeah. Lovely loud New York. Just a lot of astrology stuff. So go check it out. I'll leave your handle on the screen. But we had a nice little coffee day, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. buy new underwear this is my favorite place to shop for really good underwear that's like cheaper and um, they usually have like three for 25 bundles at intimacy me they always have the nicest bits and they're actually like good quality that's like affordable a lot of you guys ask me what i like to sleep in that makes me not feel like a slob and i genuinely do feel like getting yourself something nice like a nice pair of sleep shorts it just makes you feel better when you're at home stuff you feel genuinely cute in when you're at, like alone or even when with your person like it just makes all the difference to your confidence these are my absolute favorites in this style they're so stretchy they don't dig in they're like the only brand that doesn't dig in i think i wear the small and they're three for 25 dollars so i'm gonna get two of those again and then i'm gonna try these cute little cheeky ones just for something comfy some makeup. Ruth actually got me this makeup bag. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm cleaning myself up. I just like have no skin stuff on, but I did my brows, put glassy concealer on, and then I'm just like, I was in the middle of like fixing or doing my lips, fixing my lips. Is, well, it's kind of been me and my boyfriend's date night, like date day that we have. That's kind of like scheduled in. That's what long distance is like, guys. I thought I'd give you a little insight into uh, what long distance is like for me right now. It's still making an effort, it's still getting ready, kind of feeling like I'm going out. Like I'm gonna put on like a nice outfit. Like I think I might surprise him and actually wear something really nice because he surprised me the other week and got like really dressed up in a shirt and I thought it was so cute like I was not expecting it at all I was just in like my home comfies and now we've been kind of dressing up for these little date days it's just like it's the same thing all the time generation G glossier lipstick in the shade like uh, which is like a raspberry tone it's just like a like a sheer matte lipstick which just changes the tone of my lips which I like and then um, my favorite lip liner makeup forever aqua lip in 3c i've kind of a couple of these around a different experience to the last time i was in a long distance relationship like it's it's been quite fun as opposed to hard like the physical aspect is hard i know a lot of you guys ask for tips is that specific time that's just for each other and is not rushed and you know, it's something just to look forward to at the end of the week. Skirt on, little top from Urban Outfitters. Feeling very, very um, flirty girl date nighty. I'm also gonna spray some perfume. I kind of like this one for a daily one. It's one of those like Chanel boutique spray ones. That's what I mean, like the making an effort with being present um, with time is one aspect. Also physically looking nice for yourself in the same way you would in a real life date. Like there's actually just, there's not that much differences in a long distance relationship. You're really just taking out the physical aspect. But um, for me, it's definitely something I've kind of enjoyed. I'm just about to make my dinner a lovely summery chicken salad vibe. I've got my dressing here, which was, um, some leftovers and having these like big huge salad platters loads of summer gonna put my chicken on top shortly but i wanted to show you my green setup because i've been doing this for the last month and it's honestly life-changing basically especially my people living on their own will understand the struggle of trying to use up your greens in time but honestly this keeps them alive for so long water bath in the fridge as well as my kale oh my god you can get like two weeks out of your kale easily like i've had this kale for two weeks this is my finished chicken salad i will always stand by the fact that it takes some extra time to make your salad somewhat appealing and also add as much veg and different textures as possible that is how you make a salad exciting and delicious pulling out the unit it's happening i'm painting 
this whole wall. I am painting the baseboards this week. I think I'm gonna split it over today and tomorrow. The main thing I'm doing right now is I'm gonna start with painting this whole wall because it's just, it's the one wall that's a little bit too scuffed up and I think it's just easier to give the whole thing a fresh coat of paint after almost two years. Honestly guys, the notions I'd be up to at 4 p.m. in the day. Why am I like this? Absolutely love this chaos for me. If you happen to be wondering why I put off doing the edges for this long, this is why everything had to come out of the closet. I have to get into all the nooks and crannies. Everything's pulled out. It literally feels like a war zone back to square one. That is why I've put it off for so long. Ignore the aircon blasting in the background and my very tired, very puffy, I think spotty face because my period just arrived in the midst of doing all of this chaotic work. But you would have seen me painting last night and I'm really happy to say, well, I did this the other day, um, as you might have seen already, but I finished the rest. Look how good it looks. I have to say, guys, gotta give it to you. I know I was stubborn about it, but I am really enjoying it. Now it's done. It's giving me this sense of finishedness to the flat. Paint blended really well. I was afraid I might need to like, you know, paint the whole wall, which I was never gonna do anyway. And plus this wall is mostly blocked out by furniture. So even if it didn't match a little bit, dear Lord, that spot. But anyway, yes, I'm very happy. We're really cutting it fine though, guys. Um, the one thing I have left to do is I have to put the wardrobe back because it's out from the wall. So I need to like, fight with that, wrestle that back into the wall, put all my clothes back in, put all the books back, you know, just do um, a bit of styling today because a very special person is coming around tomorrow to film an apartment tour. It's gonna be on their channel. I think I'll do an apartment tour in, I don't know, maybe a couple of months when I've added a few more new things because I see, feel like you've seen the flat so much it would be kind of Pointless. So we're down to the wire to get this place done, but I mean it was a great deadline for me in terms of Doing stuff like that and making I don't know getting the big jobs in the loft done because it's been one heck of a journey like there's already probably like six seven eight Apartment update videos on my channel from like the very very beginning. There's a whole playlist by the way you can watch it from the start, but for me, it means a lot to finally get to this point and to finish all of the projects that I started. I spoke about it a couple of vlogs back in terms of just gaining my confidence back in my ability to do manual labor and projects and see them through and not just start them. It just feels so, so good. I need a bit of a break. I had a business call this morning and I wanna go back out and get some fresh air and I need to get a few things. I think I'm gonna get some fresh flowers, some dried flowers maybe, just nice little details ahead of shooting the apartment tour tomorrow. I wanna put up some additional lighting I got from Amazon for the kitchen today and just get that out of the way. That's kind of like a fun little project I wanna do. Let's go get some fresh air. They gave me two because they made an extra one and no one wanted it.
Hey, let me set you up here real quick. So I kind of took you guys along on my morning. Funnily enough, I have gone and changed. Number one, because I picked up this outfit on the way home from my male place. It's kind of like a vintage. It's actually a vintage intimate set because it's kind of silky, but I've kind of styled it in a casual way. Basically, I had to change because as serene and lovely as my uh, morning looked, my little hour and a half that I took to go to the park, I actually spilled coffee all over my white shorts. So that was fun. Anyway, how are you? I hope you've been doing Doing good. You know what? I didn't get off to the best start today. I woke up really sort of, um, I don't know, my nervous system just felt off. I was felt like I was kind of vibrating a little bit or maybe it was just kind of a little bit of like fear or anxiety, like bubbling a little bit under my chest. And I was kind of like, oh, why do I feel this way? Just taking out my heartless waves, which I've showed you a lot in past vlogs. Um, but yeah, I was just feeling a little off, which wasn't great. When you just feel like you're carrying burden, some energy that doesn't even feel like it's yours. But luckily, Ruth just out of the blue sent me like some voice notes and we ended up just having this full back and forth voice note conversation and I honestly didn't realize that I kind of just needed that human interaction today. I don't know, it's something you kind of take for granted when you live on your own. So I found that like really grounding and she mentioned the word grounding and I was like, oh my God, that's exactly what I need today. So I took myself off to the park before starting work today and um, just spent an hour and a half enjoying my coffee while the weather was nice. Just reading my book, sticking my feet in the grass and I don't know, I like to kind of envision myself just transmuting the energy back into the earth, neutralizing it and just and just kind of not carrying it around with me, I guess. So um, I'm feeling a lot better now and I've put on this cute little bright outfit and I think I'm having a good hair day. Is this, this is actually not, not a bad heatless, heartless waves day, I must say. We'll roll with it, we'll roll with it. Usually I kind of like it to drop a little bit. Share that little kind of reminder though about grounding on Instagram because I think like we can kind of forget like the world's opening up again work routines are getting back to normal and it was something that the pandemic and going to the park every day I found it really helpful and I kind of just I don't know I think it's important we don't all forget that our mental health is really important and sometimes just taking a little nugget of the day even if you're just at home like you can still ground yourself on like a regular floor and just envision that like weird energy leaving your body and I always like to kind of ask for support if I need to. Kind of will feel like I think an old school vlog like pre-pandemic like I feel like I got up to quite a bit this week so I have some huge apartment updates and news that will come later in the vlog but I think I just kind of want to get myself right it's the start of the week I'm showered my hair is clean and I've got clean clothes on. Nothing and I mean nothing makes me happier than fresh Brooklyn and sheets. I'm so excited to be sponsoring with them because I've showed them so much in the past. I've never actually like worked with them in a paid capacity So that's pretty cool, but I always get asked about them and um, I have the Brooklyn in Linen sheets on which I absolutely adore. These are like my favorite ones to have on in the summer and they're just like so soft Two things that stand out to me about Brooklyn Inn is the quality. Number one, I still have my very first bundle set that I ever got from them like three years ago. Second thing I always love is the attention to detail either within the products themselves or in the packaging and the little add-ons. I find that that just makes it a bit more of a luxury experience for such an everyday item. It's just a nice touch. So happy to finally have um, fresh silk pillowcases again. These are also from Brooklyn Inn. The sheets are from the Lux Hardcore bundle i think the lux sateen sheets are really nice because they're a bit softer than cotton they've got kind of like they're not quite satin but they've got like a nice smooth slip to them which is why i love them but i got it in the kind of off white cream this time like you can see that's like proper white and this is more of um like a light cream and i did go for kind of the the pink and neutral color scheme again because it makes me so happy i have a discount code for you guys so i will put it down below with the link in the description box and on the screen here very excited to jump into those later um but enough dossing there's a new shoe rack which after three months of keeping an eye on the website i finally got it because it kept selling out don't even remember ever buying this shoe rack I might have been here honestly when we moved in but it's so flimsy and useless and I cannot wait to get rid of it. This is the kind of minimalistic shoe rack all put together. I have to say it does actually fit quite a lot of shoes. Definitely a neater and prettier than what was there before. It would have been cool if the top bit didn't have a handle and it was like a bench on the top so you can sit down and put on your shoes. 
I think they should design that. But otherwise, pretty happy with it. Didn't manage to get one screw in, but I feel like flat pack stuff, it's always kind of risky that way. But overall, pretty happy with it. Think it looks really clean. Worked up a bit of an appetite. I'm absolutely famished. I think it's time to eat. Okay, guys, look at you. Hello. Elena's come over to yes. shoot an apartment tour. And we Stay just, tuned. we just pretty much Mm -hmm. Nipped it in the bag, didn't we? Or got it in the bag? Why? It's gonna be cute. I got no words I left, know. guys. I gave it all to Elena, it's but um, it was so nice to have somebody in the space. Yes. And the place has never been cleaner. You'll never see it this clean again. It's crisp. But I'm so excited to have you do it. Yes. All the, like, it's gonna be so much better than any tour that I could no, have filmed myself. It's gonna be cute. Um, but I'm so excited for you to see it. So subscribe, I'm sure, you know, you'll see it on Elena's channel, but I'll share it on Instagram as well when it comes yes. out. But I can't wait to see it because I love your editing style and oh. you do such good New York apartment tours mm -hmm. if you like that type of content. I think New York content, I feel like. Yeah, a lot content. of New York content, the whole deal. I mean, I'm sure they all know you already. Yeah. <laughs> like the chances of Come them knowing over. me and not knowing you is no, slim. No, no. <laughs> but in the off chance, link will be in the description. It's gonna be a fun video. It's, it's been super serious. fun. Just in from grabbing coffee and like a proper get to know chit chat with Elena. I just brought her into La Cantine, obviously, because easy neighborhood coffee. That went so well. It was a real good deadline for me to get stuff done in the apartment, as I mentioned before. Um, and I figured I would just wait today to kind of give you a little glimpse because I don't think the apartment will ever be this clean again. This is the kitchen. Everything's looking nice there. I've got my lunch, which I'm about to eat. Um, but in terms of just like tidiness, it's just usually that this has been quite cluttered recently. But um, yeah, I did another kind of clear out last night. Also got my little memories up there now. Um, but yeah, kind of really was putting away a lot of stuff yesterday. Also have my little flowers that I picked up with you guys. Um, looking very well in my Alvar Alto vintage vase from Home Union. I love this little straggler here that's just off doing its own thing. It's V-sculptural, you know, I'm just letting her do her own thing over there. Um, but yeah, like the flat is just extra, extra, extra tidy and neat. There's usually always one area that isn't, but um, yeah, the light was really good for shooting and I don't know, I feel like I can really really enjoy the space now like look at the trims this is what it looks like by the way i don't know if i showed you yesterday but like i think it has made such a difference to how the flat looks i think i did yeah but here here's another look look at it again it took me a long time um but yeah it really feels like the flat is finally done such a joy to work with and uh, yeah we all wrapped up everything as well as coffee chats in three hours being very proud and accomplished i feel like you've all been on the journey with me to transform this place this is it now the makeup's coming off and it's not going back on again all weekend <sighs> change um as you can see i was just taking a few photos kind of like stage situations because first of all i wanted to take pictures of the loft while the apartment was all clean and like shoot ready here's the thing i was shooting the photos for a listing because I am going to be sharing the loft. I know, I know, it sounds all very dramatic, but I've hinted for a while, pretty much since I moved in, that I always had bigger plans for this space. That I've been dropping hints here and there over, you know, the last two years. My plan from the beginning with the loft was to always create a space where other creators could come and uh, shoot content for a couple of hours or a day. Prior to moving here, I was constantly renting these spaces on Peer Space where I could just go shoot certain campaigns and execute it really well because I just felt like either my apartment wasn't right or the light wasn't right and I needed like a certain aesthetic. Just from being here for two years, 
I have found it such an easy space to shoot such a range of content in. I've never had an issue shooting here and I've saved so much money basically by having a space that I can both live and shoot in. The time has come um, to really realize this space as it was always intended and that is to share it with you guys and other fellow content creators. Like I'm a people person at heart. I just thought it would be something so fulfilling outside of social media to do and um, to be able to share my space with you to be able to provide a service that i once needed while i was in the zone and doing the tour i just thought it'd be a really great time even though i'm exhausted to just pound out those listing photos so, so yes tell your friends tell your wife if anyone needs a shoot space i will leave the listing in the description below or you can just always find it through uh, the A Brooklyn Loft Instagram page um, where I'll just be constantly updating the photos. I don't know if it's going to be a success or not, but I would imagine I will definitely probably get some bookings at least. So yes, excited for just something new. So do you want to see what I was up at 2am doing last night? First person for these kind of notions. I did all of the painting jobs in the apartment this week at like the worst hours. I got in from dinner last night, two drinks deep, like hella tipsy and started putting away laundry, steaming things, and installing LED lights. So I installed these lights, and they come with a little remote control as well. Where is it? Literally $15 Amazon jobby, but I was really chuffed with myself. This is 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. So, yeah, I never really love the color of LEDs. Like these are the warm white, and honestly, like it's still not the same as warm, really nice warm non-LED lighting to me. LEDs like flicker really weird on vlog cameras, but I think it is just like a nice way if I'm cooking to kind of see what I'm doing a little easier, and just I don't know, kind of just like illuminates the space, and you can see the texture from the backsplash really nicely, which I like. Yo, I forgot to outro the vlog, so I'm literally editing this video now so hello from present time tara tired so i don't have too much to say but it's been a jam-packed vlog i really hope you like it um i actually had so much footage that the rest of it will just have to go into the vlogs that are coming this month so there's definitely gonna be three videos for sure um but yeah i just hope you have a great feckin week and i will see you super soon go find me on instagram